Sorry for the previous video that didn't have any sound, so here we are. Stay safe to get a new video. Alright, uh, so you already learned for the tax money, uh, all the theoretical in the past video. So now we in the uh, lab part, which is a practical by using Google Colab, which is Python. Yeah, of course. Uh, so for this, uh, for this that my tax mining process. So for the first part. What we need to do as usual, so we will import all the necessary libraries such as pandas and numpy. Okay, uh, so in this uh, lab, we're going to use just a simple sentences uh, with simple stats which combine uh, two sentences. Okay, you can read the sentences here. So if you found the text too long, you can uh, just split it into two, but uh, just the two sentences after all, so just uh, combine it in one text. Okay, you can, can run that. Uh, that's not output because um, we don't don't want to display any output for this one. Okay. Uh, next we want to import an LTK which is a library of packages for the tax mining. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, you already learned in the uh, in the theoretical part, but uh, in this slide we're going to use an LTK. So even though the LTK is quite easy to use, okay, but uh, it has a fonts uh, which I already explained in the uh, previous video. So you have to download a lot of uh, libraries lah. Okay, like tokenization, you have to download this um, and then if you want to um, do the next process like stemming, you have to download another uh, another stemming and like nematization, you have to download another packages so, and so on. Lah. So it's quite tedious but uh, it's quite, but the process, the process, the, the advantages of this uh, Library is very easy to use uh, compared to others. Okay, so we're just going to use this. Right, for the first uh, tokenization, uh, for the first tax mining process tokenization, so we already have all these uh, two sentences in you know, one tax combined. So now we want to um, make it in the words, okay, separated by words. So what we do, we're going to import uh, word tokenize from the NLK to tokenize. So we're going to tokenize our text. So you can see the output here. Okay, uh, all the words have been separated. Okay, and, uh, including the punctuation like comma and stop. Okay, uh, so from this um, separated words, so what you can do uh, for the analysis, you can find the frequency distinct in the text. So you can see uh, how many times the words the have been mentioned in text, the word are and so on. Uh, if you can see, uh, most of the words are only mentioned once. Okay, uh, even uh, if you see here, okay, um, although the, okay, if you see the, it, it has been mentioned twice, but uh, one is a, a small letter, one is capital letter, but uh, because of the differences, it uh, has been uh, recognized as uh, two different words. Okay, so in order to find the frequency, you have to make sure your words uh, not just have a same meaning, same spelling, but it has to be same capital letter. Okay, like this, uh, the one and another one is the one. So uh, it's doesn't list for all words lah. But if you plot the graph, okay, right like there here. Okay, so we we import matplotlib of course and. If you plot it, you can see all the words has been mentioned once only. Okay, so there and there. Okay, uh, this is not uh, kind of useful for this kind of practice uh, because we only have two sentences in one text. But if you have a long text in a, a, one document that has a very long sentences and long paragraph like your test and so on, so you can analyze and there's more words that you can analyze that's more useful than this practice lah. you can try it by your own later okay uh, the next uh, process is stemming stemming is where we want to find the root words okay like i already mentioned in the theoretical part so from here we're going to import a portal stemmer okay so if you let's see um, in this case okay i stem the word provides so the words okay, are going to be stem es even though the um we just going we do no the root word is a provide okay we just added s okay but uh as a stemming process uh the post the 
face the process itself doesn't understand eh? so it took that uh, es as a additional words so it stem that word and the root word become profit if if you google this uh, this word has some no meaning though so the uh, real meaning of the word profit has been changes uh. so this is not good that's why uh stemming usually is a uh, coin is normally used for words that um if you cut at the uh C D I N G like constructs constructed constructing it is the original word all you're going to get construct which has uh same meaning okay uh without all this um prefix and suffix okay um but uh, not all words can be stemmed. That's why we have lemmatization. So lemmatization uh, is actually similar to stemming. So we want to get the root word okay, from the prefix and suffix. But it's a more... Um, I, I can, cannot see this word. It's, um, it, uh, it has um, more... What you can see that? Okay. Um, Lagi berguna lakukan untuk mendapatkan dia punya uh, root words right? Okay, for example here, I put the providing Okay, uh, so let's see uh, the differences between lemma and stem words So, if you run the providing, uh, you already know stem It gives you profit, but lemma test word, you're going to get profit Okay, uh, so not all words can be stem, but lemma totally is better than stemming Okay, that's what I can see. So the third phase is top words. So before we can um, process this uh, text mining, so we have to download the stop words. Okay, imported from the word recognize, so corpus also. So stop, uh, import stop words. So this one already uh, mentioned that we use English. Okay, so we go to recognize all this word. Okay, let's see from our text. Okay, so this is a normal text. So if you print the stop word, so it's going to remove the uh to so all the words that that's uh, that has no meaning lah. So like many cars, road, Kuala Lumpur, all the remaining um all the words remaining are uh, going to be remain, including the punctuation. Okay, the next the next phase is a uh, part of speech tagging. So pause. So you have to download this uh library. And then from the tokenization, so if you run it, so all the words have been tagged, okay, with the uh, verb, pronouns, and so on. Okay, uh, second last is name entity recognition. So the one we have to download all those two libraries. Okay, and then since our tags don't have any, um, not much things that can be recognized okay if you can see there are too many cars on the road Kuala Lumpur is a place Malaysia is a place other than that uh, just a word okay so now television should recognize those two only lah. okay uh, Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur as a place okay so the last one is a chunking okay where we uh, it's a similar to a POS but uh, it's coping the word to better oh. Okay, so the process is quite similar so you can see the output here uh, I think that's all so we are done with the lab now so maybe you can practice it by your own text or your own document uh, thank you for watching